the next thing is to transfer them to our fabric okay to the center the side our case and the back panel then the strap so these are all what we need to work with so now i would cut all my fabric i'll just place them on the fabric and cut so for the um, bodies we have added all the necessary allowance but for the strap we'll be adding allowance on the fabric so by the time you place it on the fabric to cut now we we'll have to try to position it well this is the front it's going to be like this i'll be cutting two pieces of this remember that i had to join it because it is just one piece from the back to the front the cape is just one piece though it can actually be joined but it's you know from looking at it it is just one piece and then that is it okay yes it can be joined So this is the sleeve, okay? So it can actually be joined, but if you can also make it one piece, it will be better that way, just like I have done here. So, but if you can't actually get one piece the way it is on your fabric, just, you know, you can cut the front separately, cut the back separately, then you join it. Then even the sleeve looks like it was even stitched, okay? As if the extension was joined so whichever way you take it it will still be okay so now let me first of all cut my cape so for the allowance we'll be adding we'll, we'll be adding allowance at the lower part okay the this lower part the the upper part is will, will be sewn together with the main fabric then to be torn in with the lining but for this lower part, we'll add allowance here for stitching this one, like the main fabric, to the lining piece. So let me just cut it so I understand what I'm doing here. After pinning it down like this, I'll just go ahead and add half inch seam allowance. So this is how you add the allowance, okay? Then go ahead and cut. After cutting it, we'll cut another piece of it because we need two of each of the cape. So this one, we'll just, we'll just cut it the way it is. So now I'll place this and cut another one for it, okay? So I have cut two pieces of this one, okay? So let me cut the other one as well. So now we'll go ahead and cut on a, let's cut the bodies on our fabric as well. So let's place this aside and cut the bodies too. So I'm done cutting all the patterns, okay? So by the time I got to the front, I mean the back panel, I decided to show you um, how you eliminate zipper bulge for the back, okay? So this is half bodies. So what we are going to do at this zipper area, you come up by, just come up by one inch. Okay, by the time you come up by one inch, you now connect it, just connect it back to this, um, the hemline, like so, okay, and you cut it out. So with this, you would eliminate zipper bulge at the back to just sit nicely 
are the back there. So one more thing, please. Remember when I was cutting the front, I added two inches because of the bustier and i use the front to cut the back so that is to say we have that two inches at the back here so i'm going to take away 1.5 okay because and actually i'm supposed to take away that two inches but remember we need allowance to join the top and the lower part so instead of removing the two inches i'll move 1.5 leaving half inch okay leaving half inch for the that is for the joining so i'll first of all remove this before cre um, creating the effect for my zipper board so it's actually from here that i would step up by one inch and connect it to the hem line so i just hope this is clear okay so don't forget when you are doing this whatever extra you added at the front please remove it from the back because the back is not a bust it does not have bust so we will not have any need for that allowance at the back and let me also transfer my dart so that i won't have to measure again so this way i have my dart legs so i'll now cut out the extra so this is the back okay so i've actually cut it on the fabric as well so try to remember all this so i cut two one for you no know, i'm actually i need two pieces that is the main and the lining so this is the main fabric for the back so i'll still cut more for the lining so i have my dark legs here i'll just connect it up okay so like what i did at the main fabric that's the main pattern that i cut i came down by one inch from the neck line and the this is my boss span okay so that is where the dark will be getting to that is really that we get into so remember your zipper allowance i have to remove it please so every measurement is starting from after the zipper allowance so this is where i have my boss pan please okay so now let's connect it you can see it's now matching up with this so initially i measured and um, including the zipper allowance so this way it is so now i will connect my dark legs to the half inch like so and this one like so okay so i'll transfer what i have here to the other side that is i'll mark it at the other side as well so this one should be like this I want you to see it clearly. So it's actually going this way, please. So when I'm stitching it, I will just make the necessary adjustment. So this one, I'll transfer it at the back by using my pin to mark it. While at this point, you can notch where you have your dark legs, okay? I'm not sure that legs. So when you turn it to the other side, to be easy for you to just connect. So this is it. These are that on this side. The center line is not necessary, but you can create it if you want. Okay. So this is it for the back. Okay. So I just marked the that on this side. Just to take it that this is the lining piece, and uh, here we have the main.
fabric okay so this is the main fabric for the back now let's also take the front panel so these are side panels and we have the center panel here So I cut out two for each so that you can use one as the main fabric and the other as the lining. So let's set our lining aside and place the main fabrics together. Okay, so just pin the lining piece and keep them aside for now. So this is our center piece. Okay, and this is the side. So we are going to join like this and we'll join okay so we'll go ahead and join by the time we are done joining it we'll then bring our cape so we we'll, we'll use the pattern to check the cape how it will go but for this one it's going this way or to the back and this one would come this way okay so now i marked where it would join at the shoulder okay so let's take our pattern so we see the pattern as a guide for this very one i marked it like so Okay, so by the time you have joined it at the neckline, like this, by the time you have stitched the neckline, this part is the part that will join from the shoulder, like this, where I marked, that is at the armhole. Okay, this side will join the armhole. So, you can trace it back on your paper, on the main paper, where we drafted initially. So the main thing now is just go ahead and join this together for now. We'll join the, the three panels together, okay? So I have sewn the cape with the lining, okay? So as you can see, I stitched just the lower parts. So this is how the cape is. And remember I cut two pieces for each of the cape so that I can turn it in so this is it okay so this is the good side so everything you're doing concerning this style you have to work with your pattern so by the time i place it like this this will show me that this side is the back and this side is the front likewise this other one so this is how it should be okay so i only stitched the lower part with the lining and i turned it over and iron so you can iron hair stay to read to make it firm but since this is a tutorial i just decided to do it that way okay this is just for teaching purpose but when you are cutting on your main fabric please iron hair stay so that the cape will be firm okay to be taken off so now the next thing is to place it to the bodies but before we place it we have to take our main pattern and trace out the way it would be on the main pattern okay so this is just what you need to do this is our cape pattern so i have to place it just this way so that we'll know the breaking points where the back cape started from so let me just pin it together so now this is the breaking point for the front So let me mark it this is where we have the front cape the front cape started from here okay so now placing it on our pattern we we'll know where to fix it so this one is like this so 
So now I'll place it on the main pattern. Okay, remember the pattern we drafted initially. So this is the breaking point for the front. So this is how it will be. Okay, so by the time you have placed it like that, so you can see it, you place it that way. Now you mark it on your fabric. You can notch, you can just mark whichever one. So let me just match it. You can notch it at this point here because I've already stitched this side. Then the side where it will touch the armhole, you also mark it, okay? So this is how it's going. And then here, at this point now, it should touch the neckline that is here, okay? This is where we would um, stitch to the neck line or at that part where we have our darts so that's how it will go you notch that part then you also take it down this way by the time you come here you also notch this point this is where the other cape will join this is the center front the neck the neck line you also notch that part then you also bring this other cape okay so you also need to place your pattern on it to know which side is the front and which side is the back so this is the front okay so it will go this way so you need to also place your front and um, pattern like this to know where it's coming from okay so we added a little allowance here so that allowance would take we'll be using it to stitch this cape inside the other one so just place your pattern from this side Okay, so you place it from this side. I'll, I'll be pinning it down just to have it staying in place. Okay. And they also notch the breaking point between the front and the back um, sleeve. It's where we have the back. Okay. So we just join them to make it one piece. So you notch that part or you, um, you mark it. So let me just pin these things down. Here. so now by the time you place it wherever this one stops is the allowance that will be going into this one so just take it gradually like that okay so it's a bit tricky but it's something you can do So this is it. So now the allowance seems to be too much. I'll just trim it out a little bit. So this is where you also notch it. You also notch where you have the allowance. So I just, just follow what I'm doing, okay? So this one would go inside here. This is the center, the neckline. And this one is coming from this place. So this one now, you would place it into the lining here. That is into this place, okay? And you pin it down there because you'll be stitching it from inside. So I just want to arrange everything the way they should be so that you see it then. You go ahead and stitch, okay? So this is how it will go. So now let me remove the pattern. Okay, let me remove the pattern and the so now i'll place it on the bodies okay after arranging it this way just take it and arrange it on the bodies to see what you have there before you go ahead to stitch So this is the bodies I have sewn the darts. Okay, so this is the main fabric and this is the lining. Okay, so just prepare your main fabric and the lining. I have sewn the darts. Now we would arrange our cape or knit following the markings we did. Okay, so this is the neckline and this one will go this way here so this one will go this way so the, the main thing is once you have arranged it you match up the neckline okay 
So when you match up the neckline, you then arrange the other parts accordingly. So you can pad your postier, okay? So you pad it. But this one is just for tutorials, so I didn't pad it. You pad your bustier as you can see in the picture. So you pad it and it will go like this, okay? So you can see what we have. The style is already coming out. So this other cape will be going to the back panel. So we just want to first of all handle the front, then we'll go to the back. So you can see it already. We have our sleeve. And uh, we have this one, the way it is in the picture, okay? Then this other part of the cape would be directed under the bust. So it's cutting across, it's just, it's passing under the bust like this, okay? It's going under the bust, then it will then extend to the waist line. So, I hope this is clear now. You can see what we have. So, after arranging it this way now, this is what we'll do. Remember that this part is still open. So, we're going to stitch it. Okay? We'll stitch it inside. And this one too will be stitched inside. So, let's do that. Then we'll, I will come back again to arrange it. Okay? So, now what I'll simply do is just to turn it to the other side like this and stitch after stitching it then i'll turn it so for this one now i'll just pin it to one side i'll just pin it to one side like this okay so we'll stitch it inside the cape so this is how it will be so now let me just remove it from the bodies. I've already arranged it for you to see how it will look and the style is there already. So now this one, we'll go ahead and close this part like this. Okay, close this part. And after closing it, we'll then turn it out. So it is a bit tactical, but it's something doable. So this is it. We'll go ahead and stitch it like this. We'll stitch it close like this. Okay. So I hope you are following. I think we are done stitching it close like this. So I'm pinning it. So by the time you are done stitching it this way, we'll now turn it out. So let me stitch it. Try to be clear to you. So I have stitched it, okay? I have stitched it. Now I will turn it out. So I just hope you understand what I did here. I stitched that point I showed to you, this other cape in. And then this is it. So when I turn it now, you see what we have there, okay? So I'll just turn it in now. So and here it is. So I just stitched it to that point. That is to this point. Looking at the picture, you see what we have. So I just stitched it to this point where this cape is going this way. And this is it. So you can see this is it. So this side now is closed because we'll be top stitching it on the dress. Okay, to be top stitched. And in such a way that it will be so neat. So now just iron out this one. So that is it. So now I will get the bodies. Okay. So you can see that this side is still open. This side is still open. Okay. So we'll be joining it to the bodies and turning with our lining. So now let me get the bodies. So this is now this is our neckline. We'll pin it down there. So we'll stitch up to this point. 
okay so you just arrange it you stitch up to this point where the armhole where we have the armhole because the lining we use the lining to turn it but this side now where we have the sleeve this side where we have the sleeve we're going to stitch it from inside okay we are going to turn and stitch from inside up to where it would get to the neckline of the back okay so for the back now you also need to arrange it that way so for the back cape so we need to also arrange it this is a, so the back is coming like this so this is the lining piece for the back we're going to use the main piece okay so this is it so the back is coming like this so you see the armhole for the back and the armhole for the front so when this one when you have arranged this one like this you stitch to the armhole this sleeve part will be closed up to where you have the neckline for the back so this is it now remember we have zipper allowance we have one inch zipper allowance and our cape will stop before the zipper allowance so you mark out the one inch this is where the cape for the back will start like this up to the arm hole okay so and that is what we will do here now to get up to the arm hole like this so now we are, will be stitching from this point to this point inside we'll be stitching inside and turn it out from the other side so i'll just mark where we'll be stitching okay so just arrange everything like this so from here now i will turn it and stitch from inside again to this point then turn it out so let me do that to be clearer to you and i'll do same on this other side i'll do the same thing on this other side stitch that part okay so where you have the sleeve just like we have it in the picture so from this trap to the other side that is just what i have done here so now we'll turn it okay because this side is still open so just turn it to the other side and this is it so you can see that it is now closed okay why the other sides are still open because we'll be using lining to turn them in so i've also gone ahead to join the back panel to the front at the side okay and that is what we have here so remember the um allowance i added at the front is now time to cut it out so remember the two inches i added so i'll just cut it so when you're making yours just measure take your actual measurement and trim out the excess so i'm using the back panel because i have trimmed it out from the back so i just want to match it up now with the back panel so let me trim it out So I'm just doing this for the purpose of the illustration. On your main fabric, please make your work as neat as possible. So you can see what I have now. This is the back panel joined to the front panel. And I did same at the lining. Okay, so I did same to the lining piece. So I did same to the lining piece. So let me also trim out the front panel. So this is the lining piece, okay? The back panel, the front, and the back. So by the time I'm done joining, I'll then stitch the that for the back panel. So now over to this one. Let me show you how to go about the cape. So my cape is still pinned at the center front. That is at the neck line, okay? So remember the sleeve and here it is so just simply arrange it okay simply arrange it this way like so then 
you take the lining piece remember good side facing each other so you just take your lining piece and we'll now go ahead to stitch the lining so center front center front that is the neckline here you pin it down then just arrange everything accordingly arrange it the way it should be so just pin it and then you go ahead to stitch normally the way we we'll stitch our lining to the bodies okay so i would go ahead and stitch the neckline just like this so just follow what i'm doing okay so just match up everything now when you get to the arm hole when you're stitching and you get to the arm hole leave half inch okay see the arm hole this is the arm hole right so when you stitch your lining this way at the neckline when you get to this arm hole leave half inch for closing up the arm hole so you will not stitch the half inch okay so you push this you push the cape in that is get it out of the way like so push it in then you close up the arm hole okay so i've sewn the lining to read as you can see then i also added this strap this is for the front so your strap should be in between your lining and the main fabric okay so you fix your strap then you stitch it inside here okay just normally the way we fix our lining so now we would move to the back panel okay so we are done with the front and you can see the armhole like i explained so you by the time you stitch the armhole from inside you stitch it and you make sure the cape is out of the way this is what you would have okay so this is the back and the front arm hole so the next thing is just to give it a very good press so that it would and sit well now to the back cape okay so you would also take your cape to the back you can see the back neckline is still open don't forget the strap it should also go in and this is the arm the sleeve where we stitched now this part where we have it open would continue from here okay and to go this way so remember we have zipper allowance your cape will not get to the zipper allowance so by the time you get to where your zipper allowance is you just close up the edge of the cape like i have done so you can see what it is you just stitch it close so you would then turn it to the other side okay and you have it here so this now would go this way and our lining would come over like this so you turn the lining and you stitch okay by the time you're done stitching it you take the lining back so let me hold it with my pin to show you what we would have there So don't forget the strap so i just remembered so this is it so now this is where i fix the strap at the front where i have this um with that okay so now you position it to the back by the time you take it to the back like this you also determine where your cape the sorry where this strap would be joining at the back so just set the armhole together this way and this is where we'll have the strap coming okay at the back so i would place it in between the lining and the main fabric then i'll go ahead and stitch okay so now i'll have to remove my pin and place the strap in then i'll pin it down again so you see it there now okay so this is just it so i'll go ahead now and finish it up 
following the explanation I have given to you. Okay, so you can see this. So by the time I am done with this part, what will be left to be the zipper? So after stitching the cape at the neckline, you can also close up the zipper allowance at the back. That is, you can also stitch it, then you fix your zipper. So I've done the same to the back, okay? I've sewn the strap inside and closed up the cape. So this is now the zipper allowance. So by the time we sew the zipper, this is how it will be at the back. Okay, so let me arrange it well so that you see it. So this is it at the back. This is the strap. Okay, so we we'll sew in our zipper like this with the one inch. And at the back, this is how it will be. Okay, and the sleeve like this. Okay. So this is how the back is. Then for the front now, for the front, we also have our strap, our cape, the sleeve, like so. Okay, so for this other one now, this one will be top stitched on it so it's going under the bus to the waist as you can see in the picture okay so it's going this way into the skirt at the waist so you can see it's going this way into the waist at the skirt there so the flare is a different thing on it so we'll have to make the flare as well to join it so Remember, like I said, you have to part this, okay? So this one will then go under the bust. It's going to cross at the under bust into the waist. So for this now, top stitching is what we'll do to it at this side, okay? So you top stitch, make sure you're using a matching color thread to top stitch here. So now you can decide to raise the lining and do that on the main fabric alone so it to be neat and i've also gone ahead to sew the back that so this is the back that okay so i've sewn the back that and i did that separately i sew for the lining separately and for the main fabric separately and this is the inside of the dress this is how it is inside and at the other side this is how it is as well okay so it will be joined to the skirt part before fixing the zipper then the flay would also come to fix the flay before joining the skirt part okay So now we we'll make the flounce. That is the flounce you can see here. So it starts from where we have the cape on the waist here to the other side. So you would actually do this before joining the lower parts. Okay. So though there are different ways to achieve it. You can I, I, you can make the complete gown. They stitch this on it. That is, you will stitch it. At the waistline then turn it over okay or you can stitch it to the top then the low the skirt part will now come whichever way but let's just make it first so to make it what you will do you measure from that point where it will start which is from the waist here where we have it going this way so measure it from this point to the side where it to stop so what we have here is 15 inches so this 15 inches now you times it by three okay so we want to make like 360 degree flay so you times it by three that is 15 times three 
that is 45. Now the 45, you divide it by 6.28. So that's how we divide for 360 degree flay. So 45 divided by 6.28, that is seven, okay? So meaning that um, our radius is seven, we want to cut a flay. So now, since it's 360 degree flay, we're folding into four. And then um, to know the length of fabric that will be enough, you would know the length of the flay plus the radius. The radius here is seven, then, how long the flay would be from the waist to the edge there okay so let's just add zoom let's take like six inches so you can measure on the body how long you want it to be but here let's use six inches so you now add the the radius plus the length of the flay that would um give you a guide on how to fold your paper so seven plus six that is 13. so what it means is that by the time i fold my paper I should have 13 inches on this side and by the time I fold it this way I should also have 13 inches because we are folding into four so I'll just measure I have 13 inches here so I'll fold the other way as well so now let me just cut out the excess So I have folded like this. Now I will fold like this. That is, I will fold this way as well. Measure our radius and the length of the flip. So let me see what I have here. I should be able to have 13 inches here. So now we'll mark it out. The radius is seven inches and the length of the flay so the radius is seven and together with the length of the flay 13. so that is how i will just keep marking it i mark seven and mark 13. so you can act you can mark it separately that is you can mark seven then from seven you measure six inches and you mark so these figures are just mine so you use whatever you have from your own measurement to do this this is just an illustration how to go about it okay so i want to do it quickly so after marking you just connect so this is the radius and this is the length of the flay okay this from here so by the time you have done this you cut it out so after cutting it now you open up one side just open up one side so now we have our flanks okay so you would place it so you can if your fabric is not enough you can use other method of cutting plants so now we place it here starting from this point the way we have it so looking at the picture from this point we have it going straight okay so when you got to the dark area it started folding so that is what we will do so by the time you have placed it this way, from the picture it's a bit it was like curved. So I don't know if you can see this, it was curved. So you look at your own picture. So to do that is just for us to from here now you can just give it that shape. Okay, you can just give it that shape. So something you just look at and follow it so let me cut it out okay so have it now this one is going from here you just pin it down 
okay so you first of all try this because you'll be cutting two of these by the time you try to see how it goes you now use this pattern to cut two of it which is the main fabric that is one on top and the other one underneath the one that was used as the lining so that is what you would do you need to cut two and by the time you cut it you go ahead and stitch the lower part together then you turn so just as if you are lining the flay so i know you know that by now so from here you stitch it straight after you have lined it this one is coming straight it's coming straight okay so as you do it you pin it down so let's just pin it so you can just do it from the underneath like this because after doing everything you then bring it down okay so you go ahead and pin it pin it there so this one is going straight like i said from that point to where you have the dart is straight so you pin it as well there you pin it So by the time you have gotten this one, let me also pin it here. By the time you have gotten this one like this, just like is it, you will have it in the picture. The rest will start folding under. So the rest of the front was folded underneath. Okay. So hope you can see what we have here. If you look at the picture, if you look at the picture, you will see it's folded from this side. You see it going in. Okay, so that's why you can even see the lining or the other fabric that was used under it. So this is how it goes. You just keep folding it. You just keep folding until you have gotten to the side okay so you keep folding it until you have gotten to the side so when you get to the side you can trim out the excess and close up the edge but if you want to utilize everything you can go ahead and just fold it in very well like this so you can see it so it will be stitched on that hair you have to stitch it on that so let me hold it with pin just to assume that we have stitched it so by the time you stitch it on that you bring it down okay so you can see what we have here just arrange it this paper well if i was uh, to use the fabric to do this it would be better than this so you do it this way so here now the skirt parts would be stitched to this side down by the time you stitch the skirt parts so let's assume that this is just a piece of fabric so let's assume that this is skirt part by the time we stitch it to it Normally, the way we use stitch, okay, we stitch it so this one would then come over it, and that is just how to do it. So, now let me show you how to go about the skirt part, okay.